Regional forms are arguably one of the best gimmicks the Pokemon Company has ever come up with. It's probably my favorite gimmick they have ever concocted, and it's not just me that thinks so. The Pokemon Company thinks so too. Unlike Mega Evolutions or Gigantamax, regional forms have been a part of the Pokemon Company for more than a generation, being shown in Alola, Galar, Hisui, and Paldea. Most gimmicks, despite how perfect they are and how much I deeply miss them, don't make their way into the next generation, even if they are a gold mine that everyone loves, but that's beside the point. Regional forms have put new spins on old Pokemon that have brought them back in a new, refreshing way, or even in some cases made them better than what they were. I said what I said. However, one thing that we will never get to experience is newer Pokemon getting forms that fit into older generations. So we are doing just that today. The newest games, Scarlet and Violet, gave us tons of cool Pokemon. Several of the Pokemon from Paldea are easily making their way into my favorites. So I have chosen a few of those memorable Paldea Pokemon and gave them regional forms for older Pokemon generations. Let's start off with one of the more meme-friendly Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet, the family Pokemon, Mousehold. This Pokemon quickly spread across the internet quicker than, well, evolving Mouseholds. People love this thing. These things? I still can't figure out if it's a hive mind situation or what exactly is going on here. Anywho, I think this Pokemon is a fantastic choice for a region whose real-life counterpart is known for its rat population, Unova. Now, Mousehold definitely isn't the first rat or mouse Pokemon we've ever had. I mean, regional rodent has been a term since Generation 2 and the company mascot is literally a mouse. So I figured we should follow in the tiny footsteps of the first normal rat Pokemon for this regional variant. Much like how Rattata changed into a dark type with its regional form, Unova and Mousehold would do the same. This form of Mousehold did not get the happy ending like the ones in Paldea. While hopping on ships bound for Unova on the Paldean docks, this Pokemon was separated from its better half. This loneliness and madness transformed the rat Pokemon into a dark and angry creature, driven mad without its other half to comfort it. Instead of being happy with its small family, this creature now leads small gangs of its kind and is a savage, malicious beast, attacking anything that dare come too close, hoping one day to find its long-lost partner across the sea. Next up is easily one of the coolest Pokemon to come from Paldea, Satitan. Now I know many people don't share my love for our terrestrial whale friends, so that's why I decided to give it a new form and see if I can make others love this Pokemon design as much as I do. Let's take a look at Galarian Satitan. Now this Pokemon has been part of Galar for a long time, brought over from Paldea as a gift for the king before the darkest day even occurred in this region. However, as people began to populate the frozen areas of Galar like Sir Chester, this Pokemon would no longer migrate the way it once did. People caught this Pokemon without hesitation, dwindling the population to near nothing. To save itself from extinction, the Pokemon decided to hide away in the Galar Mines. In an effort to survive, it quickly bonded with Carcoal and Colossal that called the mines home and learned their way of life, slowly becoming more and more like that Pokemon line themselves. Over time, it lost the Ice type and evolved into the Blast Furnace Pokemon, a strong Fire Steel type that is constantly eating minerals and burning them to give itself nutrients. This constant burning makes this Pokemon extremely hot, too hot to be near, and even if you could stand the heat, the smoke constantly produced by this Pokemon would soon prove too tough to be around. The next Pokemon on this list is actually probably my least favorite Pokemon introduced in the Paldea region. If not my least favorite, then it is definitely fighting a few others for that honor. So I decided to attempt and remake this Pokemon in a way that I would have enjoyed it more and would have saved it from being dead last on my list of Paldea Pokemon. Let's find out some more about my Sinoan Houndstone. Unlike in the Paldea region, this Pokemon's underground tendencies actually have a purpose. In the Sinnoh region, this Pokemon acts as a guard dog. Near the entrance of Spear Pillar lie many rune stones that were inscribed by many ancient people. Reading these runes from afar can prove quite difficult. However, if you come too close to these rune stones, you will be met with a group of grass rock houndstones. These Pokemon have been living near Spear Pillar for so long that its spiritual energy has slowly brought them back to life. In return for bringing this Pokemon new life and giving it another chance, this Pokemon uses that life to serve an ancient civilization of Sinoan people. Perhaps the Celestica people. Perhaps the Sinjo people. Perhaps people even older. Regardless, this Pokemon protects the energy coming from Spear Pillar against those that want to use this holy site for unholy deeds. But which of these three was your favorite? 
I, of course, am still partial to my main man, Satitan, but did any of these Pokemon win you over more than their original forms? Make sure to let me know down in the comments, and subscribe to the channel for more theories and concepts. The art featured in this video was done by my friend Subarashi, so make sure to check him out in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys next time when the adventure continues.